Thanks for dropping me off, Luis. It's the least I can do for making you work here. So I just on my way back to work. I made you a sandwich. I'm sure they'll give you a meal break later. Yeah, probably around midnight. My favorite cookies. <laughs> oh, well, while you were getting dressed, I ran down to the bodega. Just like the lunch you used to make me for school when I was a kid. You've always taken care of me, Luis. And I always will. I'm your brother. <laughs> Julian Crane. Seems like the cranes are everywhere in this town. That's because they own almost everything in it, including this cannery. I always dreamed I'd be spending crane money. I just didn't think I would have to clean fish to get it. Well, I'm sorry, Teresa. I know this is hard. What? You mean coming to work here or trying to get over Ethan? Both. But I promise you, you are going to marry a nice, normal guy. A guy who's going to love you for who you are. A guy who's going to just be all your dreams. I mean... Ethan Crane, you would never be happy with Ethan Crane, even if he was to lower his standards and marry outside of his class. I'm just sorry you had to learn that the hard way. Hey there, Luis. Chuck. This must be your sister. Teresa, this is Chuck. He's the cannery foreman. Hi. Now, don't worry about her, Luis. We'll take care of her. The first thing we're going to do, though, is cover up those clothes. Excuse me, but what job will I be doing? We start out all our new people cleaning fish that were caught today. Oh, well. <laughs> well. That's my girl. Hey, you'll be fine. Follow me, Teresa. I'll take you to your locker, then show you your fish cleaning station. I don't think I've got these goggles right. A little tight around the ears, Jerry? Yeah, very. Yeah, well, that's the way they're supposed to fit, so I'm afraid you're going to have to get used to it. Alice, this is the new girl, Teresa. Oh, I figured. Welcome to Cannery Station Number Nine, or as I call it, Death Row. You get it? Row with the E. <laughs> oh. That's okay, Geary. You get a sense of humor when you're here for a while. It's the only way you can survive. It's okay, Chuck. You can leave. I'll take care of her. Whew. Stinks, don't it? I want to throw up. Well, there's a bucket over there, but you probably won't need it. Everybody gags at first, but you would be surprised, amazed, how quickly they get over it, though. How long have you worked here? Let me see. Next month will be 18 years. No offense, ma'am, but I'd rather be dead than do this that long. You know, it's not so bad. I mean, not for me, anyway. But you are awful young to be stuck cleaning fish. This job doesn't do much for your love life either. I mean, what with the smell you go home with and all? That's what I was afraid of. How do you get this fish smell off? Completely off? Well, lemon juice kind of takes the edge off, but that's about it. I heard people talk about uh, tomato juice, you know, since it does such a good job on the skunk odor, that if you ask me, it really lets down on the cod. What I do? I wear a lot of perfume. It's not a cure, it's a cover-up. But you know, come to think of it, I don't think there is a cure. I mean, seeing that after a couple of weeks, it seeps into your skin. Once, I had 12 cats follow me home. Oh, don't worry, dear. Probably won't happen to you. It doesn't really matter if it does. Yeah, so you say. But, well, your boyfriend say. Unless you're lucky like me, my guy, he works the boats. He thinks the whole world smells like fish. Your boyfriend a fisherman, too? I don't have a boyfriend. And I never will. Well, 